thinking I'll be a quitter when haters don't stop no. I'm living proof, living proof. It's pretty safe to say God give it, God take it away It's the worldwide American way I'm living proof What's going on guys? Proof here and today we're bringing episode 6 of the Proof Positive Podcast. We actually made it into the, the Bass Chuck Studios. Joaquin's back from vacation, and he was able to get us in a little bit early today, so we appreciate him for that. Thank you, Joaquin. Thank you. <laughs> and before we get started, I just wanted to make a little announcement. The weekend of May the 9th, I'm heading back to North Carolina down to Charlotte for a little extra vacation time. And while I'm down there, I'm going to try and record with some of my friends that are down in the Charlotte area. So, taking the podcast on the road, going worldwide with it. <laughs> Roadcast. <laughs> Roadcast. And soon enough, I'm going to get up the podcast with my fiance talking about Philly. So, keep a lookout for that. Oh, that's cool. I know. <laughs> and with me today is going to be Corey Kai. Say hey. Say hi. Hey, guys. And Mutton Chops is back. <laughs> After all the salt that he felt previously from not being on the last I podcast. was not even salt. Yeah, you Liar. were. You know what? Peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> a pale moon don't do nothing. What do you mean, guys? You can't say nothing. Had, okay, had to mute himself. <laughs> <laughs> and today, we're going to... It's not, been, not a special like category type stuff like the last couple podcasts. We're going to just be talking off the top of the dome. Talking generally about what's been going on in the Vanguard world lately. Talking about... Uh, fighters collection things, maybe some G3 things, talk about strategies for cars and whatnot. We're going off the dome with this one, so hope you guys enjoy. And where do you guys want to start? Fighters collection. All right, where do you want to start with fighters collection? That happened with Jank. Fuck maker boys. Like, it's not even nearly as bad as 2014 was, but like. You're right. He's sitting there waiting, like, oh, I wonder what the double rare triple rare for this thing's going to be. And it's just like, oh man, if you have Leopold in your heart. It's so terrible. It's so bad. So, the things Corey Kai is waiting for, or was waiting for, <laughs> formerly waiting for. They're like, you know it's going to be Leopold, right? I'm like, I know. I just hope it's not terrible. He was like, oh, like what is it going to be? I'm like, you know it's going to be Leopold, right? It's like, like, let it be like, oh, let it be like apt or something. <laughs> Locks. If it was apt, what would he even do? Doesn't apt stand something? I don't, I don't know. You don't even know what apt does. That's know. not the point. It's an owl. It's an owl? <laughs> At least it could have been Lox. At least Lox is an elephant that does no. something. Or no, Lox is an elephant or is he a bison? Give me some elephant. Something crap. Something is a bison. Something, something crap. No. <laughs> the Leopold Stride has a great name and great art. No Great art. name, great no art. No actual effect. Crappy effect, no synergy. Is it like break red synergy stick? That could work? <laughs> no. You need to have a Leopold heart to even use them. And the Leopold R is the heart. It don't do nothing because he's an X skill. Yep. So it only synergizes with regular base Leopold 10K. Who's mm. limit break four? Yep. So need, no sense. You need to use the enabler. Hey, profit voice. <laughs> I'm sorry. At least your original freaking uh, heart dude is cheap. <laughs> Leopold R is like two bucks. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> you want to play that card? Guess I don't do nothing. You really? I mean, with GBT2, you have pretty much all you need for. Great nature strides. It's not the point. They both suck. <laughs> <laughs> They're so terrible. Oh my like, god! The second oh, one is so bad. All I wanted was options. Like, oh, oh man, on hit. That's not hitting. You, it might. But I get. I get some dude plus four, and I get the draw card of the column. Is over. No, no, I got you right. Because tri triple drive, right? You know, draw five k, draw five k, draw five k, like you usually do, right? And then that's plus fifteen. Wait, this is. And then their base column is usually I only like play three draw triggers. I didn't ask you that though. So how are you stacking? <laughs> Yeah, you, better drop you don't it. have to convert to cheating with you, John. Hey, man, cheating is how I do everything. <laughs> it's terrible. It's a, it's a, it's a terrible. You Only in card games, love you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, got, you got some clans that are like, all right, that's cool, that's great. And then you got Great Nature, who got two completely crappy strides. Crappy. I'm sorry. God awful. Right? If this thing hits, like, why would I have to play this thing that might hit when I can just play Phoenix Clue? And it doesn't have to hit. It's on swing, and I do plus four to this, and plus four to that, and I swing with this, and I swing with that, and I end my turn, and I kill these things, and I draw these cards, and I do this stuff. Silver lining? Mm -hmm. Still better than Geronimo. <laughs> <laughs> you can't argue that. You can't even argue that. All right, all right. Geronimo's a cool idea on paper, at least. It just doesn't do anything. It does nothing. It's a great idea. Don't get me wrong. It is. It's a decent idea, but... When when the back row attacking all of a sudden become a thing, 
You mean you mean Morkumo? Yeah, Mor- Morkumo, <laughs> Sastasha, who's the first. She's so bad. And then Geronimo. I'm like, uh, it's not a cleanse to do that. We should probably start distributing it to everybody in small doses. Mm. And then it's still draw trigger or bust, or damage trigger or bust, I should say. Like, attack from the back row, you see what's going on? Draw trigger? Well, really? Fifth damage draw, still plague me to this day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gave 5k and I got the extra card I needed to live. You lose now. Throw the. Oh, wait. Well, you know your clan gets no love when you're like. The two, what, uh, Nubatama freaking strides are better than yours. Hey, Nubatama get... Strides are strides are Discard is... Pretty green. Discard is strong. I'm going to score. But, but Shoryuki, though. That's great art, I'm sorry. Great art, still not that great. Nope. So, what does she do again? If you have a Shoryuki heart, search your deck for... Like a copy of her. Two copies of the heart, and then <laughs> call it out, and then add them to hand. Yeah, you got the effect up on your screen. Yeah, that was browsing. Uh, what if you use a place on Vanguard? Choose one of your heart cards. Search your deck for one card with the same maiden. Call it the rear. One of them? Yeah. Okay. And shuffle your deck and then put it, put it back into your hand. Ew, and then on. if you put it into your hand, you discard. Yeah. If you don't, put it at the bottom of your deck. That's not even. Like, why is it a break even like that? <coughs> They, they, so they like, like Grant, right? you get the extra attack. No, you don't even. It's not even extra attack. You get, the, you get the, the minus twenty null. Maybe. Like <laughs> swing with the plasma, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no it's swing with the ace. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon event plasma. Let's okay. talk about Dragon and Overlord. The hype that everybody was waiting for. Supreme Heavenly Boy, I can't say. <laughs> uh, like third candidate girl, everybody world longest Vanguard name on a card ever. Nope, Here. that still belongs to 99 Generation Die Earth. <laughs> Die Earth. Hey guys, that's it was Earth Day. It was Earth Day. You, wow. Did you check out Google? See the little spinning globe? I did. <laughs> that Die Earth don't do nothing. He tried. It, it kind of game or his lore. <laughs> <laughs> gets devoured by a planet. At least he got lore. Wait, <laughs> wait, he stood on a planet that got eaten by it. No, he's like, oh man, you know, like his lore is that apparently he got, he's the stride summoning for Dai, for Daisha. And it's like, yo, I'm, I'm the best there is, I'm about to make this planet crime free, and I'm gonna go to other planets. And he went to Brant, and he got eaten. He <laughs> 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 walked in there and got body, got molly wops. Molly wops. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, you trying to change us? Nah, son, sit down. <laughs> You right, at least he did get lore. Unlike a uh, freaking Admiral Maelstrom three weeks ago. Lore. His lore is about to be boring. It is, but still, it's like it's the fact that he has it. <laughs> it's all about to just be there. At least you've got your Admiral release now. Yeah. So does that mean this the end of Aqua Force? Or are they gonna go? Or is it gonna be like the the case of Perfect Riser and Ultimate Riser? It's gonna be the case of Dragonic Overlord. Ruining. This not even my final form. <laughs> I wish he had more forms. Speaking of Ace, though, like I know people were waiting for. The brokenness to happen after most of his previous forms. I want to say like, well, yeah, six forms before the ace, and like four out of six of them were pretty much meta-defining roles. Kinda, yeah. So people were expecting this to follow along the same lines of that same heritage, and they were starkly disappointed in the fact that it was actually a pretty balanced card for what it does. It's like Ron Gold, where oh man, he needs to you know take the format and break it on its back up. It just resands. What's fun? You knew everybody knew it was gonna resand. People yeah. were people were expecting the right. Nuts. Everybody was like, "Oh man, it should swing, and then it should lose a drive check, and then it should swing again, and then it should get plus five, and then it should retire unit on a hit, and then it should do all these broken things." It's like I saw somebody say you get five drive checks. I was like, "Nah, nah." <laughs> <laughs> once, you, once you pay the cost, you get negative one drive check. Yeah. <laughs> you are a bit plasma with wings. <laughs> right, we, had, we had to pause real quick. We had to. Had a mailman come through, had to let him leave the parcel on the table. And <laughs> I'm so confused, what, what is even going on? <laughs> lost track. Let's see, we were talking about the ace. The Let's ace. see, the ace doing things that everybody expected, but not, not the broke level that people were expecting. Like, the restand is fine, the 5k is a little bit weird. I figured he would kill something. Or run over a rear guard or something. <laughs> The fact you have to pitch a grade three for it, though, could hurt in the long run. It's not just any grade three. It's, it's, it's weird that it's not it. Dragonic Overlord hurt. It's yeah, that's that's where it made up for it, though, is that if you had to discard an Overlord for it. So it balances. That way, you can still at least combine it with Blade Master and do something. Stride Blade Master, Counter Blast 1, pop something, and then have the extra Counter Blast to resend. Because only one is, no, it's two Counter Blasts, right? Yep. Yeah, it's two. Two Counter Blasts, discard <laughs> two cards, one being an Overlord, and then restand for plus five. I like it. 
it's yeah. a balance. I wouldn't play it because just because I'm not about Kagura. That's not Novell. They got yeah, Mamad and Mamad and, 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 and Ruthler still, so and they got Mustafa. I forgot about that. Mustafa's what? pretty okay. I like his art actually. You got the eye patch. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, it's not a like that G U or something. Hey G U. I just realized that like all the the dragon knights and stuff had like Arabic Middle Eastern type names like Mustafa Nahalem hmm. all those other ones it's like nice thematic sense right there what if we can break it down by clan as to where they would go then if it's like the the map of something you talk about like if the world yeah, of Vanguard, the world was, was, Vanguard was like, later, if, like if our world. globe translated into Vanguard where yeah. would be what that'd be sweet you'd, be, you'd have Dragon Empire take over all of Asia <laughs> <laughs> straight down to the Middle East give me it why did I said so <laughs> I want right? all of that hey. Russia on down <laughs> <laughs> Taking over. Let's see who else is pretty good. Sukuyomi. Yeah, she does everything. Korakai's bay. The art is just weird. I'm the sorry. art is she looks like a slutty sailor scout. Can you say, can you say slutty? <laughs> yeah, it's <fine. laughs> like it's so weird. Like, and then one of her wings fell off. I swear. Like I know, I know it's hidden behind her hair and behind the other side of the couple. One of them fell off. And then like they like curve around and like become claws in the grumps. Like she is a bird, so. You're, you're pretty chicken. Right? I called her a chicken. Heavenly chicken. <laughs> but she does everything you need her to do, and she doesn't cost any counterblast. So you drop in a. Uh, Cezano? Takama maybe? Yeah, what's your. What's, yeah. what's your strides on gonna be now? Jank. <laughs> There's so two, much stuff. It's gonna be two everything, probably. It's gonna, it's gonna be four Sukuyomi, because four Sukuyomi. Yeah. It's gonna be one Karen because nobody lets him hit anyway. It's gonna be one dragon, just oh, in case the, the Nimbus Lord. Yeah, just in case the the ride chain sucks and I want to recycle all these crits. Mm-hmm. And then to Takuma Kazushi because I'm gonna like him like that. Then you have like seven different strikes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'd be like men with the cosmic roar stuff. Oh, like psh, strike. Oh, is that X Falcon, bruh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like chill. I can't boost them up because I need all these pieces in my hand for the break ride turn. But if I get there, I win. You does pretty in much there. Win. Basically. What do you mean, PG? No. Why do you think I played 12 crit? <laughs> 96 and a crit. It's like, drop him down. <laughs> 75. What you gonna do? <laughs> Check my hand for these triggers. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't you drop, like, seven gray zeros in his face one time? He shattered one of them. I almost cried. I'm like, <laughs> you're like 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71. You won't. <laughs> Check one grade three. No! <laughs> <laughs> Check two bricks. Yes, it's my return. <laughs> and I still lost that match. <laughs> Your hand went from 11 to 3 after that. Really? <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> Almost cracked. Top that greedy stride. <laughs> <laughs> like, I did. You know it. I'm greedy with OTG. <laughs> like, I made it. <laughs> All I want, like, on release of Fire Collection, is a set. And yes, I mean a full play set of Mother Flippin'. I have to scroll to see the full name because I forgot her actual name. Wow. Silverthorn, Dragon Master, and Mystic Liqueur. I think you're going to buy a whole box if she's not going to be in there, right? I'm not yep. buying a box of nothing. You're going to gonna be scrounging around like you, I'm not even you got going Liqueur? Back to Pale Moon. I'm just going to have a set. You know you're going to play Pale Moon when they get support? Play it casually. <laughs> play 12 Crit Pale Moon and give no actual blank words. So, to, to, <laughs> to, theory, to theory guard, I guess, for a second about future Pale Moon stuff. What would you like for it to do? Because you know it's going to be generic. It may, most likely it's not going to be Silver Thorn based. Yeah, it'd never be Silver Thorn based. <laughs> so that makes me cry. So your Amber Clone is going to be legit boost, call something out. It goes back in the soul at the end of your turn, right? Yeah. That's pretty. I mean, that's, that's exactly what it's going to be. The problem right, because you, you already got Jake the Eye support on on boost, Soul Charge 2. <laughs> that's not bad. It's not terrible. It's, rather, but, it's easier than Emblem Master, which has to hit. Not hitting. <laughs> Silver thorn, something, something blank, on freaking boost, grab a body. You know, it's not gonna say, we just said it's not gonna say silver thorn. Come <laughs> on, let me get the dream. <laughs> no, you'll get like some generic support, like the I got. You can this is counter blast the monster. You, you play egg juggler, like, you're good. Call, call, with nothing. <laughs> call out from soul, soul blast one, draw a card <laughs> that goes back in, soul charge randomly for days. Soul charge and trigger, draw a trigger. Yep. <laughs> 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 And I, this isn't Fighters Collection related. Let's talk about the greatness that is Diablo real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> well, kind of blast check, one, check, man. check that. Spoilers. Can we, can we talk about the, 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 you know, like the temper tantrum one of our members had? <laughs> oh. It only worked with one card! Oh yeah, Sir, sir Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his 
ever flipping mind when he's like, "Y'all only worth the blaster, dark Diablo." I could use it for one card. You know you can play four of them anyway, right? Exactly. It's not the point. It's like, I can't like, optimally stride break every turn and make you lose your entire board. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't just go straight into Blizzard and be like, oh man, I'm top decking. Dude. Draw trigger plus free. That's Into the ace. No, stack two dudes. If you can't it's, stack two dudes, I win. It's fine. He can still do Blizzard. He'll just have to go straight into Phantom Blaster Diablo every turn after that and then throw off his two bullets and then go back to the generic track after still be like over extension boys guard everything because I don't feel like taking no damage top deck whatever stride into Diablo because like plus three grade for whatever card I pitch for mm -hmm. yep so rude it's so good and if it's and not trial deck power at all and the, the fact that it's not re heart restrictive means you can throw it in with revengers you can throw it in with witches you can throw it in with I forgot they had witches <laughs> <laughs> you can throw it in with generic uh, phantom blaster from before ew I'm still, I'm still just gonna take four Phantom Blaster Diablo, two Grim Recruiter, and depending on what the double R from Fighters Collection does, I might throw that in there because I don't want to play uh, Drag Ruler if I don't have to. It's gonna be like on Riot kind of blast monster for a great one. Drag I'm in there. Sword <laughs> <laughs> Breaker. Like true Drag Ruler is all right, but you have, it's like it's a it's a break even even if it does give you an extra stage for something. So, it's not something I want to play. If it was Sack or Avenger, search for any grade one or less, it'd be a lot better, though. But, it's Sack of Body. I, I played somebody online that called out Blaster Dark, Revenger Abyss, uses Counter Blast to take out something, then use Drag Ruler to sack him and call out something behind his Vanguard. I like, that was interesting. But still, it's like, you could just attack into a rear guard with that and... Yeah. To take out at least another card with it. That's slightly more value as opposed to just like sacking it. Exactly. Especially if you're already on a stride that's attacking for 26 as it is. <laughs> I still won that game. <laughs> I, I would have got it on camera, but it was not malfunctioning. The system just kind of just quit on itself. It's like, this is too large for me to compress. You need to try again. <laughs> but like you. It's lost. Jesus. It's fine. I got it up this morning. It just takes two hours for it to upload to YouTube itself. It was terrible. You got it up this morning. It was extra long. Like, this 17-minute video taking in three hours to upload. Ooh, then I, that material. Then Jesus. I had to merge it together and then add music to it. It turned out well. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. Also, I'm really sad that the Musketeer stride is Cecilia, by the way. I forgot to add that. Cecilia I don't actually do nothing. Who else would it be? I want it to be Vera, but that's just me being greedy. That's you being <laughs> way You don't even play Musketeers. Hey, whoa. Your deck is probably... Yeah, it's in your binder. <laughs> 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 that hard to pump that's going to be on the podcast. Mad if I'm hit that with Shadow Valley. <laughs> meant to be... It, it knew I was talking. <laughs> I'm so excited for a Generation Break 2. Why do I keep calling it that? What's it, Soar and Ascent? Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah Soar and Ascent to come out. So I can play it. But you keep calling it GB2. Yeah, I keep calling it GB2. I keep calling it Generation Break 2, GBT2. I, mean, I call it everything under the sun except for Soar and Ascent until just now. I think it's a weird name. <laughs> Get Naru, Kami to come back, bop people in the face with my five drive checks. Somebody made this topic on NA that was like, oh my god, I don't understand why all these cards are getting so hype and jumping up in value. We all know that all these cards not going to do nothing. The English meta, everybody's going to play the same stuff regardless of what we get. I'm just like, somebody sold. <laughs> <Did> somebody still <laughs> like, that was like I don't understand why Sweet Command is like $10 right now. You know he's not worth more than like $3. And like, like, did a, you want, it's like, did you want a shine job on your shoe? It's like, did you want to play Sweet Command and it was high in value before you were able to get it? That's pretty much where most of the salt comes from That's with uh, people's posts is that they want to buy these things, but it's up in value now because it got hyped up and now they, they missed the boat before. Just, oh man, last week I sold my set of motion for like five bucks, now they're 20 a piece. Oh, motion don't even do nothing. Salt, 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 salt. You, man, because you didn't profit up 60 bucks. I only got one so far. I need to get three more today. You'll be fine. Melsham reverse or regular Melsham? Yes. I used to want to play Maelstrom back when I was looking for another clan to play besides Spike Brothers. I tried and I hated it. <laughs> the moment where came out, I was like, yeah, that's a really good card. Oh, I have to play the, I have to play the cross, right? Okay, cool. I'll try to but I ride in the Maelstrom, he don't do nothing. I'll ride in the reverse, he's plus 2k power, he is swinging. Oh, I got to rest and lock? That, that made me so upset. It's kind it's of like, annoying, actually. Like, rest and lock? I can't just lock the guy that's already rested? No. That'd be great if you could. It's fine, put behind Vanguard. His sick is plus five. Yeah. It's still two cards, and it doesn't hit, so you get a draw. I mean, they could be on the, they could be on the, I have bravery 
front and be like, you won the pass. Like, Melsham Reverse is so good. Like, people are upset about Diablo when it's like, you know, Melsham Reverse is here, and it gets, you get kind of similar card advantage out of it. The speed of the event. Because okay. if you guard it, you lose a card and you draw a card. If they don't guard, you're taking two crits to the dome anyway. I don't see why people don't use it more. Everybody's on that, that other hate. Talk about Thavis? Trying things. I hate Thavis. Thavis? You know Every you want to play Every other him. question on. Oh, Vanguard Jesus group, Christ. Period. <laughs> it's like, you guys don't research things when you ask for them. It's like, oh man, so I use Fogos. I'm on the fourth battle. Can can can, can I just... Ret- it doesn't matter if they have more than three rear guards or exactly three or less than, or less than three. Is it do what you can? Does it have to be exact? It doesn't say up to. Why would it say up to? <laughs> Nothing. Why would it say you can retire up to something? Why would you not do the max of it? <laughs> Why would you just be like, oh man, so in the fourth battle I get to target just this one thing? Yes, you can. But Jason said you could target any comps with three enough. I'm like, oh, that's what he means. Target, target, target. It's the same guy. Like, target, judge battle. Target. Second, judge battle. Judge battle. He's dead. Go away. I want to deal with you. Now, if they have three things, you got to pick the three things. But if they have less than three, you pick as many as you can. People, people don't read cards. They're going to get out. People boy, are still letting me hit Magnum Assault off for no counter blast. I'm just like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I counter blast another one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Read stand plus two. But you don't counter blast. Read the card. What our, do you mean? Read the card. Our boy Knuckles wants to play Aqua Force, and he was like, like Thavis, you can, if you have less than three, you can use Thavis still? Was like, uh, I like, yeah. This question has been at since like the beginning of time. <laughs> he got he got so hyped up when we told him that Thava's activated when they have less than three rear guards. He was like, "What, really?" <laughs> question mark exclamation point. For real. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> you told me sack the teeth. <laughs> like sometimes I'll just like scroll through some ask a question and just like you could have googled this and it would have shown up. This is how many times questions been asked. You're not wrong. World's gonna be jank. <laughs> World's is going to be card oh, sharp. Not, 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 not World, I'm sorry. Team Regional. You'll see us there, by the way. Look for us. Yeah, we'll be there <laughs> in New York. City. <laughs> I'm going to be card sharp all day. I'm, if I'm at a team, if I'm at a regional with 37 other billion nerds, right? In a small <laughs> basement. I'm sharking. I'm sorry. I wish I had my uh, my living proof shirt made by then. Base Chuck shirt, you? Yeah. I put that on the back. <laughs> put on a bag. double shirt. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be summer. Get my it'll living proof. Summer, oh. right? All yeah. the heat. Uh. We mean double shirt. I'm not wearing a sweater or something. Like yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Get my living proof shirt with my bear on the front, with my name across in in old English. Is it a rare bear? A rare bear, or a wear bear? Oh. <laughs> Why not both? Or, or it could be new Batama bear. Oh, rare bear. <laughs> rare bear, best bear. Claw bear. Do S- slash bear, best bear. Talk about Werebear from, Ma- Were from, like so Were from Magic. Werebear from Magic, bruh. So did I. Werebear from Magic, bruh. He's not wrong. That two mana drop. Bear. We made it. <laughs> We're talking about all these other generation cards, generation rare cards that don't deserve to be generation rare oh, cards. Oh, you mean Azul? You mean Epoch Maker? Epoch Maker is going to be a ham sandwich on release. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn it into somebody for a, a soda from our, our local uh, shoppery. I'm going to get a fuse. Shoppery? I'm going to get a fuse and shake it and drink it slowly. <laughs> <laughs> remind remind the people what he does. And they're like <laughs> You don't look it up? I'm pretty sure it's like when he attacks you I think it has to hit. Oh yeah, you're right. It has to hit. Then you bind something. Call out it's not worthy. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it has to hit and then you search out or you bind a card. You bind the card, you search for a grade, grade three, three, call it the rare, and then you bottom deck it in and recall the card that you bound. That's a number of skills at one time. And like like it it's okay. You can like recycle stuff like GG like, and you know, stuff like that. And some on on call things. But are there really enough on call things in Gear Chronicles to make it worthwhile? I mean, kind of. Is there one that says Counterblast less than two bottom decks? Nope, no. just two. two. <laughs> Actually, there's the Chrono Jet one. The one that says if you're if you're Vanguard or Heart or whatever, if you have Chrono Jet on Vanguard, Counterblast one the bottom deck something. I think it's a dragon. I forget the name of it. I think it's like Glimmer Breath Dragon. Yeah, Glimmer Breath Dragon. <laughs> Glimmer Breath. <laughs> I was like, I'd read, I played a gear call, like, I say, when you're on Chrono Jet, Counter Blast the bomb, like, it's like Counter Blast, I'm like, nah, nah, you were not on Chrono Jet, you better unflip that thing and let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The, on, on the team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else is trash? 
Hey, Meltrum's a generation. Right? Yeah, so we talked about Mega Colony last time, last podcast. Check that out. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, but now they have the double rare. Jaggy Dagger. Oh, uh, yeah. solid, though. Which is weird, because that power creep is trying to throw me off. One hit. No. That column says no. The column is not. I'm saying, like, column says he's rested. Is it front and back? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Never hitting. I'm sorry. No counter blast? Nope. Nope. Just got to see it? Never. Just got, just got to touch Vanguard? Touch your butt with four. <laughs> <laughs> touch your butt with <laughs> Not hitting ever. Rest title, rest something else. I'll scoop up. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, bro. Rest title, rest says Dasha. And GG, I lose. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I think I was playing Man Colony one time online. I was like, all right, that can't stand. Damn check, stand trigger. <laughs> wow. Worthless. Like the one person in the Vanguard world right now playing stand triggers. I run into them when I'm playing Mega Colony. <laughs> stand triggers don't do nothing. And trust me, I love stand triggers. It's not an aquaphor, but I love stand, stand triggers. triggers don't do nothing. The only stand trigger that's probably worthwhile is the Kagura one just because it boosts something by 10,000 and goes back to the deck. Is that a G2 or G1? G1. 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 Gear Chronicle then, gets it too, but it's a G2. For yeah. Chunkiest too? The one, the Gear Chronicle one that flips a, a face up G and the back face down is pretty all right. Uh, it's hey, not I said pretty alright. But then, uh, what's this kid's name? Ragnarok. Clock. That's the one that And the one from, uh, from Nova's is pretty good. Oh, Energy Girl? Team on her back. <laughs> nah, that's Azonda. Team on his back as well. I hate that comment. It shouldn't have been a comment. I'm not gonna lie. It shouldn't have been. It's feel, it should have been like a rare. At least rare, a rare. Least. I got Chatura. <laughs> Chatura's a comment. Uh, Chatura is. I'm sorry. I, 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 I've read. Let them hit. All I, no. <laughs> I <don't, laughs> just don't care. Just like, all right, everybody needs to get something at least playable at common level. Let me buy that PG you dropped real quick. I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're crit common. Could have been double rare like all the other I'd ones. I'd be fine with double rare, uh, double rare crit. I'd be happy. Talk about Despina. Despina is bad. Oh, you mean not, not everybody can play her? Shh, don't tell nobody. Like, oh, I'm in Strike the Maelstrom. Hot. <laughs> Five damage can't go out. People are really doing it. People are like, oh man, you just take it in. I was like, why the hell would you just take it in with random this? As opposed to just like, you know, committing your life to it and ruining someone's childhood. That's all so I want to do. Because more than likely, you're not going to commit it to the board unless it can do something. I still might. It's like, oh no man, let me, play this, let me play this 4K crit for absolutely no reason. Just call it the rear, whatever. I got a booster for my title. Oh, okay. Hello, Deck Super. Damage. Hell, Deck Sweeper. <laughs> Don't do nothing. Sweep Command, best sweeper. Nah, chill. Sure. Sweep Sweeper. No, so Deck Sweeper <laughs> evolved into Rascal Sweeper, and I was like, wow. Wow. Wait, he evolved into Rascal like, Sweeper? <laughs> oh, that actually hurt my arm. Does he get it? <laughs> oh. You celebrated too hard. Oh. Right? <laughs> so, since, we're, since we saw audio, when Mutton Chop celebrated about the evolution of Deck Sweeper into a little rascal, he, <laughs> <laughs> he leaned back at a hard 45 degree angle in his chair, threw his arms back, and now his shoulder hurts. <laughs> Such a much out. <laughs> Doge. Oh, my arm. You okay? You gonna be okay? You gonna be able to drive check effectively today? Not on my left hand. I'm right handed. <laughs> All right, so going away from this tangent, like we're, we're good at this. Wavy road, man. Wavy road, rainbow road. <laughs> rainbow road that hard road. course. <laughs> Losing friends in Mario Kart. From Even though that Cecilia course. Stride is jank. That's right. That is where we started. Yeah. <laughs> Multi vitamin dragon is godlike. Double rare piss. Exactly. <laughs> You're just mad because my double rare is better than your crappy triple rare that you got to go back like 15 sets. To find one for. He's not wrong. <laughs> it's Cecilia. Uh, I read that card so wrong. I was like, what do you mean on stride I pick somebody and everybody else that's not that card with the same negative plus five cards? Terrible. Yeah, again. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, reread. Oh, wait, wait. Every time I call a rear guard? Yep. Everybody? So I could be like, call this? And call call that? Call and, super. Plus five, and then call. Gladios, and then boop with Gladios and get another copy of that guy, and they get plus fives and just yep. fuck. Mm. Bruh. It's only numbers, though. It's like, bye, Aborea. <laughs> gone. She is gone. Magical one of Chill. One hit try. So, gone. full Primavera, four Jingle Sandwich Dragon? No. <laughs> four Jingle Flower, three Multivitamin, one Primavera. But Primavera Bay. Also, I want to. Just give me two of those. Two what? what? Two from Rivera. That doesn't even do anything for it you. It don't. But, random thought, random theory crafting. Yeah, so, random the freaking, thought. random thought. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's a, there's a, uh, a, a freaking, um, 
Trigger G two for muskets. It's oh like when it's called by a skill on flip three, I'm just like, why well, would I ever flip two? Should be three. You wish it was three. They don't what? Kind of, they don't counter blast. Drugs? I might be drugs. Uh, what, about, <laughs> what about not counter blasting? No, well, counter blast all the time. Nope. Musketeers? Nope. Half your deck is counter blasting things to do things. Not when I, not when I play it. I play <laughs> win. I don't play musketeers. Since we're sorry, Suki only boy. We can't. We all can't be you. What? What is that gonna mean? Suki only boy. Suki only boy. Boy. Suki boy. Suki boy. Suki boy. <laughs> Sweetie, yep. Never calling it Sweetie. Hey, never calling it. Got another, not a, I another convert. I call it <laughs> another convert <laughs> to the Sweet Tea Army. I don't know how to try. Like an actual Coco. Yo, For what? That'd be hilarious. I only know what she would do. Nothing. Exactly. I'm like I'm gonna ride Coco. I'm gonna. Oh man, I'm you gonna draw Coco three cards. Heart and no other cards in your soul. When you attack, draw, draw two X. cards. That'd be great. <laughs> Terrible. I'd still play it. Power creep is a, a mother father. father. Right? A mother right? father. A mother father. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man, let me ride Coco. Let me soul blast two. Draw one for Lulu. Counter blast two. Draw one. Stride. Oh, draw no two. Draw. Draw two. Swing. Three. Four. Before you get too into it, Coco is draw two cards, sir. What did you say, draw three? He said one. Mm. Oh, whatever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I to be fair, it says draw up to two. Why would you? Well, let's you might deck out. Does, does Jay make that to this? That's what we got out there. I think we're going to only draw one. We may both draw. <laughs> you talking about Dark Cat? <laughs> Kind of, kind of blast the one. Oh, you mean the, the card that Matt won't ever let happen? Uh, <laughs> it's completely cool at Vanguard anyways. Going back to you, you. How do you yeah. deck out against OTC as an order grappler? Don't mean no such shit. Explain, explain that story to the, the five subscribers. I can't even do So, Matt is what you call greedy, where he will use every skill on the known planet to draw a card regardless if he needs to draw a card or not. He was playing Street Bouncer in his Ethics Reverse deck for... For uh, what's the word? Like, for reference sake, he'd be like, "Oh man, play Street Bouncer, put it in the Soul Soul Blast two, draw a card, all the draw a card." He's it's going like, through like five why, cards a turn. Why are you drawing so many cards? You only draw a card. We need to draw a card. You have everything you need. Why are you continuously drawing cards? So he ended up decking out, and in the second game of that set, the guy was like, "Black Cat, we can both draw a card." He was like, "Nah." <laughs> <laughs> No, thank turn, you. Turn one of the game. Turn one. <laughs> Would you like more options? No, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm quite content. I wish, like, even though Dark Cat and the clone in Bermuda is pretty bad, if Spike Brothers had a Dark Cat as a 7K in their deck, I would so play it. Ew. Oh. Do they call them Bermudas? Man. Yeah, like Mirota or something like that. Or Miratoa. It's a... It's a little angel looking thing. Hmm. But if Spike Bros had it, I was like, so call this, we both can draw. Alright, cool. Hey, grade two. All day. <laughs> yep. He used to love when people used to play those cards against me. It's like, oh man, we can both draw a card. They're like, hey, that's stuck no more. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got to, I can take this damage scot free now. <laughs> Let's see, who else is I played against the the Angel Feather Stride, the one that says but dip. <laughs> Judge me. Bye, Korokai. See you, man. Small break. Uh huh. <laughs> I played against the Angel Feather one, and it was like Soul Blast 3, give two two units plus five. And then if you have less than two cards after you Soul Blast, Soul, soul Charge 3. Angel Feather or Genesis? Genesis. Why do you calling it Angel Feather? I'm, think, I'm thinking think Angels. I'm thinking Prey Angel. I'm, think, I'm thinking Prey Angel, Smiley Angel. <laughs> the, the Angel archetype in and of itself. Oh. I get it confused. Genesis, once again. If you, if you when you're playing Genesis and it does that, it was pretty all right. Mm. I wouldn't pick it over going straight Legion into Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil is just so many things that you should be doing continuously. Right. The I person guess. I was playing, I was like, all right, I'm gonna bind your PG. And he rolled Yggdrasil. He could have Legion and put back the triggers. Mm. And I was like, all right, cool. But then he was like, nope, I'm gonna stride. I was like, why are you striding? <laughs> I like PG anyway. Right? <laughs> Throw it down. And then he let Zorus hit the next turn. So I was like, yup, bind these two triggers that you don't need anymore. Not putting those back. I'm not sure how to feel about Narukami. I don't know. In what way? I haven't, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't played against them yet for G2 stuff. So I want to see it in person. I'm supposed to see if they play this. I got, it, I got my proxy deck on me. Chill. No peace. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. Nah, I'm fine. 
You sure? Yeah, we, I don't have a deck. We can proxy I'm, fight. All my decks are binding. <laughs> CSO CFA. Right? See, see, you know why I don't like CFA? And it's not just like, you know, the the randoms or like the casual players, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, I prefer to play in real life, like to get the feel as opposed to sitting there to clicking. Like, I play a lot of things, like, I play a lot of online games. We used to click a thousand all the time. But, right. Like, clicking for a card game sounds really dumb. See, but you don't you I'll not Hearthstone, though, exactly <laughs> what are you talking about? That's clicking, but still, you like, could, you could like 800 times a turn, <laughs> and they're they're weird. Uh, I have no face ever, so I'm gonna do everything I want to, and then in turn, <laughs> that was quick. but the reason the reason I play CFA is to put ideas together in, in motion before investing money into these things. I have returned. That's how I was no, that's how I knew I wanted to play Abyss. I was like, all right, I need something for. This is back in November. I like, I need something to play because Risers got pushed back. Let me just take a look into uh, Abyss. Mm -hmm. I like, started playing Abyss, started figuring out how I played. I was like, I actually kind of like this. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to invest. I'm going to throw the wallet at it. And <laughs> it's been in my my fold ever since. Uh, that's when I thought you just was, you know, the, the queen. Of the the end-all, be-all. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I don't need another deck ever again. Nope. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. <laughs> I think in all of Vanguard history, there have been one defining moment that made me quit a deck and move on to another one. In every, mean every deck? But you quit every deck. Not, no, that's not true. I'm so sorry. You mean for every deck you play, there's a defining moment that makes you want to stop playing it? Or is there one defining moment overall? Because you, you have a few, a few decks in your arsenal that, that's where I look for arsenal. There we go. <laughs> that you'd be like, all right, you do everything I ever wanted. Well, you did this? Nah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Like, all right, oh man, Garmore, all the things, oh man, put him in the soul every time I call a card off with a deck. Every time, it's every time. That's his, that's his, that's his, go that I played. Yeah, I know, but still. That's his origin story. He's like, oh man, Garmore, <laughs> put him in the soul every time I call a card off the deck, plus three. Oh man, crit, 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 crit. Darn. Where's the nearest garbage so I can throw the deck away and move on to the next one? When does Megas come out? I only stopped playing Megas because it got boring. It's like, all right, really gonna push me on my break? Really gonna let this happen? Right now it's gone, we'll get top three, crit crit tom, grab the tom, put the crit on top, play the tom, swing, PG, doesn't matter, crit boost, crit boost, swing, okay, cool. <laughs> what I play after that? Bermudas? Bermudas. Yeah. No. no, I play after, um... Was it Aqua Force? After Megas, I played Nubatama for like two weeks. Okay. Because mm -hmm. Chris got me to deck for like three. What stopped you there? The story, before, the story for that was... He pulled an SP Chaos Breaker like the day after 13 came out. And this guy was like, oh my god, SP Chaos Breaker, I'll give you my whole soul for that, oh my god! <laughs> it was like, it's just a piece of cardboard, calm down, dude. He was like, yo, you need no time, I got you for all that, you need BCD, got you for all that. I was like, are you drugged? Because that's what people do when they're drugged. You said this was Ro, right? No, this was, uh, this was some dude at War Team Reason last year. Okay. Last year. He's like, oh my god, I will give you my heart and soul and two cheeseburgers for that. <laughs> like, That's some pretty good cheeseburgers. So I played it, and then some dude was like, oh my god, I don't pull anything ever for Nubatama. I need Nubatama, Jesus. Nubatama. I was like, you got a wallet or not? He was like, ah, I have all, I have all the variety of money and coins. Uh -huh. Why like, you say it like that? Because because that's exactly what that guy sounds like. Sound like Weevil most, Underwood. What are, most narratives sound like that to me. It's the second about Exodia. Oh, Go on again. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh my god. <laughs> Lost a summon skull there. Then I played the Aqua Summon skull got that. there. <laughs> hey, Aqua Boys. And then I liked it. But it, was, it was me starting to hate Limit Break format. I was like, all right. Hey, Trancor in there. Oh, I didn't hit him. Well, I lose. Or I heal. I number of Jesus. <laughs> Kill out limit break, can't use my limit break skill anymore. And I played Minerva forever. Hey, Baynerva. I was like, <laughs> Man Nerva. Oh, give me a second deck, give me a second deck, give me a second deck. Boy. And then I was just like, that barely happened. It'd be like, see, that was the only deck I didn't hate when you didn't hit the break ride. Because I was like, okay, well, I can soul charge Angelica. Hey, 13k base in there, don't have to be a limit break, GG. <laughs> And I played duos, which took forever, because everybody and their grandmother wanted to build duos for whatever reason. I'm like, oh man, she cute. No, she's not for trade. I was like, huh? What do you mean if she's not for trade? <laughs> you don't know what she does. She's still cute and is shiny. He's not wrong. And I played duos forever. 
the Ninja Soul came out, I was like, bruh, they're playing Ninja Soul CFA, the card is Dot Light, the card is Auto Win, it's great, it's all things, blah, blah, blah. Swing in there, can't PG, it's like 56,000 and some odd crits. D nothing, nothing. Why don't you do nothing? Because <laughs> all I'm saying is for. <laughs> It's like, oh, you on Yinger I'm a PG. Well, I'm at one because I ain't gonna be able to use this later. Right. We'll soak all the, the, the later damage. No problem. Just keep all these twelve crit that I just drove check in my hand for and later. Then it's like, oh man, in order for this deck to be any kind of functional, you gotta play all the quintets. It's just like, okay, there's there's nothing I can use any five cards. There's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna do it again just to see my options. Oh, oh, okay, it's all great crazy. Okay, okay, deck. Fine. <laughs> But I Soul Blast 6, she gets like 30k in there! I'll take it because I'm brave. Sure, you're doing free damage. It's so. like no crits in here. Like, That's fine. Oh man, I got a trick! Why is this stand? Yep, that stand <laughs> trigger. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you play a little dog? Alright, cool, I'm at 3, I'll take it. His <laughs> name is Atlas. So. Atlas? Like my dog almost? Kinda. Little Atlas? <laughs> Doge. Dog. The one you're afraid of? <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me for not liking <laughs> vicious I, animals. <laughs> vicious? He's he's legit a 15 pound Chihuahua Beagle. Oh, he weighs more than Darn ankle dude. off. <laughs> that was bitch her ankle? You don't even need those. Right? <laughs> you sell pizza. Probably, probably set me up, probably put a dough ball over the floor. Probably. So, was that, <laughs> was that like our first official rendition of Cory Kai Rants? Right? Oh no, I wasn't done. Oh, no, he's not done? <laughs> <laughs> he's still rolling. <laughs> So then, I was like, ugh, I really don't want to play this deck. I don't understand why I have to play this deck. And then, our boy Living Proof here was like, oh man, you should play Kagro, because it sounds like you want to draw cards, and you want to retire stuff, and you want to keep them scared. You should play Kagro. I was like, I actually never play Kagro. I'll play Kagro. What should I play? He's like, oh man, play the Rebirth. Yep, I gave him the proof list. And it worked for like two weeks. And then every time I hit Rebirth, it was like, I don't have to learn a Breaking Abler. The card don't do nothing. I'm just swinging for Raw 11 because I can't commit to the board. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, the list got there. It did! It was pretty much foolproof. Not <laughs> foolproof. <laughs> I remember when I first got played it, I was like, so, uh, Rebirth? Oh, I was like, so, Limit Brick and Nibbler. Lock Limit Brick and Nibbler. Limit, limit Brick. But you can't do that because he locked it. I'm like, yes, I can. Who said that? I'm like, but you're at one damage. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you stop me, nerd. <laughs> Two attacks all in. Good morning. <laughs> Ride, Legion. Put it all back. Right in the great. Oh, it's so great. Favorite Kagro unit of all time. Inside. So great. Oh, so it's so autopilot. <laughs> like swing at Rearguard, OPG. Okay. I stand up anyway. Is that the 9K die? I think the craziest thing combo I saw with Overlord stuff was somebody played the cross with the break ride. I'm so not a fan. Oh my god. I've seen that here. It's so wonky. Ew. And it works. I think I don't remember if I won or lost that game, but it ended up working for what it was supposed to be doing. The people who play, the people that got me were the people that are playing the break ride with the great. This is like, why would you do that? Yeah. Man, you can't do that. <laughs> you do that. You can't do that. <laughs> don't, you, don't you go Vanguard, Rear Guard, Vanguard when you do that? We don't care about buddy fight cake moving on. But this is a, this is Greece, uh, Street Fest, though. Okay. We're not gonna get a Vanguard case, so it doesn't matter. Oh God, no, they both trigger when you swing at a rear guard. So it's one of those situations where you have to pick a skill yeah. to use and you whiff on the other one because you didn't use it. I know, I think there, I thought there was a way to combine them. Or am I thinking about something else? Because they both say even if you don't use a skill. Yeah. Oh, it was Dauntless and, oh, man. and the Great. That's what it was. Are right, we back? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what was it? It was going to bug me, too. And then I played the cross, and you guys already know the, the backstory about me and the cross. cross <laughs> what was that, episode three? Like four or five, whichever one. It was episode three, post-ARG. Was it? Wow. Yeah. Episode four was the top ten. Episode five was with Nux. That seems so long ago. It, it does. Was. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, March? Ugh, that's so crappy. <laughs> We're not playing anymore. <laughs> I'll go back to OTT. I'll go back tomorrow. You're playing OTT? Oh, God. I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm playing OTT until Great Nature, which is essentially the same thing. Yep. But not cute. Hey, whoa. It's little animals. Whoa. Animals they are cute. cute. Animals suck. They have, they have Heel Bunny. They have Ew. Aladdin Tiger. Ew. They, wow, you guys are haters. <laughs> yes, we are. 
<laughs> B-I-M-B. Mm-hmm. You guys are a bunch of haters. We might be. <laughs> B-I-M-B. Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to talk about before we wrap it up? Because people are starting to roll in. Oh, um, talk about the Coors Bay. I was going to say we were talking about something we didn't already talk about. The Coors is Bay. I want you to know. We talking about GBT free a little bit. Okay. Well, I know we touched on Link Joker and Mega Colony stuff. Well, that's not GBT three though. Hey, Kumo support confirmed. Kumo. <laughs> we can talk about one of two things. We can talk about a why there's two generation rares in the set, and b why Bushiro thought it was a good idea to have that jank campaign to get the the other promos. Which other promos? All right, so we have the 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 actual set promos. Well, not the actual set promos, but you know the the tournament shot promos. Yeah. Enter tournament, crack it open. Oh, hey, lemon. <laughs> and then you have like what they had for um for the Legion promos, where you bought a set amount of product and you, you got something in return for buying a set amount of product. And that says that if you buy six packs of G three, no. you get one promo. Yeah, or six. No. I'm just like, but who who's gonna do that? Scrubs. <laughs> not the scrubs. <laughs> not the not the crew. Not not based. Not the podcast crew. Unless, That's for sure. Unless it's like I'm buying a box and because a box has this many packs in it, I get this many promos. Not worth it. You get five promos for getting a box. That's not really bad out loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, well we can't get rid of these fast enough. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Anything else we wanted to touch on? Messiah boys. They talked about Messiah last week. Right? I was last like, time. oh my god, my heart. <laughs> <laughs> See, Diablo's great. Diablo's I'm snapped g- for a trial deck card. Like, I'm legit just going to just get, I just want to get one legend deck. I mean, well, do I want to get greedy and try to get all shiny versions of Diablo? I Ew. might. It's, it's I Diablo. might. Now, considering Diablo's probably going to top out at 20 bucks, 25 bucks, sending a legend deck on his own is 30 bucks. I could I could foot the the extra bit, Ew. or find somebody that don't want it. <laughs> Ooh. Exactly. I may as well go the other route then. Huh? <laughs> that's all good. I'm still gonna play it though. Gross. My boy gonna get there. I, I got this jank. Uh, I got this jank Mordred. <laughs> it's fine. All I gotta do is sack three. I'm yeah. good. Sure, you won't have a board. I'm going to be locked. I'm going to kill you on turn. Lock how, how you gonna lock my board if I just got finished using Abyss the previous Don't turn? Don't worry about it. You're gonna figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm at five. Infinite Loop Glindy or Omega Loop Glindios. Ah, Fruit Loops. Oh <laughs> Fruit God, Loops. Loops. Not his name. <laughs> it might be. Not even remotely his name. It may as well be. Baby girl, it might be. <laughs> Oh, baby girl! I find out. But as I do that, I scroll past this. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Fruit Loop Wendy. Fruit Loop Wendy, baby. <laughs> I can't even. I go down to the teammate. Glendy boys. Oh, my gosh. They were all, no. they were all good? They were good. Oh, hey, G4. Wait, chill. No, nope, not. G4? <laughs> not yet. Can we confirm? No, it's not. Let's see. <laughs> we can do a... Let's see, next episode, we're probably going to do a special, another top 10 type list. Or G2, boys. We could, yeah, G2. Actually, next week will be next Sunday. We could probably potentially record so, next oh, Sunday. Yeah, next week. No, so, yeah, Joe will send it for me, though. Yeah, we're going to have a new crew. We're going to have a new new rotation coming up next week. Nobody likes me. <laughs> Chill, you've been on every episode. That's not the point. <laughs> hey, whoa, that's not fair. I haven't been on every episode. Minus the first one, I was solo. See? <laughs> I watched that one, too. <laughs> we all watched it. We have to. <laughs> it was like it's like fifteen minutes. <laughs> so we had to. We were forced. I didn't force you. I like sit down and watch it. Wonderful. <laughs> That's why we're sitting here now. He made a good Cordova. Wanted some chicken. No, you, you got chicken in right? a bowl. Got a chicken bowl. Little 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 bowl. Kitty it's bowl. Meal. It's the best bowl ever. You got a kid bowl. Chill. And you. a kid cup. You grown man. It's a kid cup. <laughs> Now chill, the cup was there, it was free. I'm saying. They probably paid three bucks for it. Twenty five cent cup boy. First of all, it was not three dollars, it was like two dollars and some jangle change. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle. Still like a thousand percent more than what I paid for. Whatever. Peach soda. Ugh. Ugh. 
Do, what, y'all some haters, yo. Do better, right? Get, what is wrong with peach soda? Get good. Peach juice, maybe. Peach soda. Peach juice, busy. Peaches in general are bad. Pe- what? Nah, the fruit. fruit, fruit. Yo, get off the podcast. Fruit is bad. Fruit. Nope, yeah. no fruit. You don't even like fruit. Chill. Then you get high C tropical punch. <laughs> <laughs> So? <laughs> Chill, Cherry Coke Zero is where it's at. Zero? That sounds busy. Nah, because he's on a diet, because he can't have sugar. I'm trying to cut back on sugar. This is before I had cookies, like, all week. I had cookies today? Yep. Cheater. That cookie yeah. was great. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> she, was, she was there when I went to uh, Subway, before we went to the movies went on to Tuesday. Subway without us? I went to Chipotle, you weren't going to go. It was date night. Chill. <laughs> I'm not, stuff and I know, right? <laughs> I'm not him. <laughs> you test me on date night? You trying to die? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Keep on looking out for next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And until later, guys. Peace. Later. later.